Hello everyone. Today I'd like to show a quick demonstration of the different touch and swipe gestures accessible on our CMT HMIs. In front of me is a CMT 3072 which comes equipped with a 7 inch resistive touch display. Now I've been asked whether our displays support touch options such as gestures or swiping and typically with resistive displays these features are difficult to incorporate. Wintech has developed a solution that includes swipe gestures and advanced touch control over certain objects and menus within the HMI's program. As an example, I have a basic demo project on display that will allow me to demonstrate our swipe gesture and touch solutions. Now what we have here is a trend display which will show us current and historical data collected from the data sampling object within the HMI. Now it's useful to be able to see data presented in this way alone, but to take it one step further, Wintech has enabled swipe gestures over objects just like this. Using this feature on our HMI is just as easy and convenient as you would find on many capacitive displays. Simply select an area and swipe in any direction to view data within that object. Now I also mentioned advanced touch control. Because our resistive displays don't support multi-touch, Wintech had to get a little creative with features like this. You'll notice in the upper right hand corner of our HMI screen, we have a small arrow next to our menu button. Selecting this arrow reveals a collapsible list of different zoom shortcuts that would normally only be accessible through capacitive displays. Our top button replicates a vertical pinch zoom in and the button below this is its inverse and will allow us to zoom out vertically. In the middle, we have a selection that will normalize how our data is displayed, resetting our zoom level to a normal view. And just below this, we have our horizontal zoom in and zoom out buttons. As many of you might be aware, our CMT lineup has its own application which allows you to remote in and monitor or control your device. Wintech has appropriately named this CMT Viewer. CMT Viewer can be used on an iPhone, iPad, or Android device. And while using CMT Viewer, touch gestures are accessible. Now just as a demonstration, I have my laptop here which has a touch display. And I'll go ahead and open our CMT Viewer application and navigate to our data trend display. And although we still have our accessory controls in the top right hand corner, we can now zoom in and out and take full advantage of the various touch controls that come standard with our CMT series. The next topic I'd like to discuss is touch calibration. Although this won't be a feature you'll use all that often, I'd like to show you just how easy it is to perform. I'll begin by powering down my 3072. Now as I power on my device, I'm going to place a finger on my touch display and hold it there for roughly two seconds. After which, a new screen will display with a small square in the top left corner. To proceed, I'm going to select the square, and it will progress around each corner as I touch it. And on our fifth calibration attempt, it will move to the center where I'll select this for the last time. A menu will display stating click OK to calibrate, and I'll go ahead and click OK, and our HMI project will then boot. And that covers touch gesture support for our CMTs with resistive displays. Next we'll take a look at Wintech's new CMT3152X. A quick comparison between our 3072 and 3152X reveals some major differences. The most obvious being that we're now looking at a 15 inch capacitive touch display. And of course, being that we're using a capacitive display, we can now zoom in and out of our trend display, just as we did while using CMT Viewer. Of course, you'll also notice how fast this action is performed. This is all thanks to the Cortex A17 quad-core CPU. 
Now one of the advantages of using our 3152X are the programmable touch gestures. For demonstration purposes, I've already configured two simple touch gestures within my project. I'll go ahead and demonstrate this, and when we're done, we'll take a look at just how easy it is to configure these within your project. The first gesture I've configured uses a two-finger right swipe to take us from any window within our project to our packaging machine. I'll go ahead and turn this machine on, and then we'll activate our second swipe gesture. The second gesture requires that the operator use two fingers and swipe upward. This will take us to our CMT's cheese production demo. And perhaps this wasn't the most exciting use of our touch gestures, but you may be asking what other actions can we perform? Well, because this is a very long list, I feel a visual demonstration is the best way to introduce this exciting feature. And with Easy Builder Pro open, I'm going to select our Object tab, and under our Action Related, I'll select our Touch Gesture object, and what I have configured currently are global touch gestures, but we can easily create a, a new object and configure touch gestures that are window specific. Within each object, we can have up to 16 separate gestures, and within each gesture, we can have up to 23 sequential actions, which will allow an operator to perform simple or complex tasks by simply performing a specific touch gesture. And if you found this demonstration helpful and would like to see more, head on over to our YouTube channel and select the Playlist tab. Feel free to check out our website as well for free demo projects, user manuals, and more. Thank you for watching.